Hi, Jenna here, and I decided to devote my, my vlog today to um, taking chances and the importance of, you know, taking risks in your life. Um, well, I guess one of my favorite sayings to start out is, um, jump and the net will appear. Um, it comes from a book called The Artist's Way by Julia, Julia, Julia Cameron, and um, I just really try to apply that to my life, you know. Um, in a lot of ways, I mean, I think like if you don't take chances, you know, you never, you won't meet anyone like a mate. Um, if you don't take chances, you might, you might stay in the same zip code where your parents live. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I just, I guess I've been thinking about it a lot lately because I have a friend, a really dear friend of mine, and he, um, he lives in Oklahoma City. Not to say there's anything wrong with Oklahoma City. I'm not saying that, but you know, he'd be a lot happier here. You would be able to actually work and make better money here because it's San Francisco, um, and he's a hairdresser. And um, he just has fear of taking a chance, you know. And um, and plus, you know, he he's gotten caught up in some things with his family. His parents are getting older, and his mom's health is not that great. And um, but it's not to the point where she's you know going to die though. And so it's it's like I feel like he's. He's just allowing himself to to like just hang on there and and be around the family and just kind of like you know waste the best years of his life you know. So let's face it, you know, there's a time period in all of our lives you know where you need to either make it or break it, and that's usually between 20 and 40. You know what I'm saying? In there, depending on what you're doing and what and whatnot. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that after 40 is horrible or anything like that. I actually am looking forward to um to being wiser and all that stuff. But um, anyway, my point being is that, you know, I try to talk him into moving and coming to her all the time, and it's like, he doesn't want to. And then, not just to talk about my friend, um, other people too, like um, there's a girl, or a, there's a there's a, um, an, a couple of girls here on um, on YouTube that have um, expressed, you know, their their, um, their situation to me, and, and their fear of like taking a chance, and, and what would happen, and so I decided, that I would tell you guys about how I came to San Francisco. <laughs> um, okay, I um, was living in Dallas, Texas, where I went to school. I was I went to an acting school um, called Katie's Studio. It's kind of like um, one of those. It's like a, like a like that show Fame. Fame. I wanna live forever. That kind of thing. <laughs> um, you learn to dance and act and sing all that stuff. Um, I pr we primarily did um, a lot of commercial acting stuff. So. Anyway, um, that's where I went to school, and I'd been did a couple films in Dallas. You know, really independent. Um, one of them is on is on um, RottenTomato.com if you want to look at it, but it's horrible. Um, anyway, <clears throat> and so I got to a point, you know, where I, I wasn't happy in, in in Texas or in Dallas anymore. And um, one day I just said, you know what, I want I want to get out of here. I want to move to San Francisco. I had never been here before. I didn't know anyone. I just had this this um, feeling that I would probably like it because I lived for about a year in a little about a year or so in New York, and and um, I didn't like it there. I, I hated it because um, it was just not the right energy, too fast paced or whatever for me. And I, I knew that I wanted to be in a larger city, but I didn't like LA because LA is foggy and I don't like to drive and you have to drive everywhere there. And um, so I thought San Francisco would be a good, you know doable thing for me. And um, so, a couple of days later, I decided to have a garage sale and sell everything that I own. So I sold everything I owned, um, got online, and um, found this fabulous little place called the Monroe Residency Club here in San Francisco. And I think it was like $800 or something um, to rent a room that I shared with another person who happened to be this really hot Marine. <laughs> and um, you share the bathroom with two other people. And um, you get breakfast, made to order, and dinner included in your rent. So basically, for eight hundred dollars, I had food, place to stay, and every, you know all that was set up for a month. So I figured I had a month to get to San Francisco, find a job in an apartment. Um, and of course, I didn't know anything about you know how difficult it is to find an apartment in, in San Francisco, or how much more expensive it was because I didn't do my research. But anyway, I got here and I had a hundred or I had two hundred dollars in my pocket. Okay, that's all I had, and um, you know, because I took a risk, 
I happened to meet this guy in a in a bar, and he happened to have a um, a pantry, <laughs> a pantry in his kitchen that he wanted to rent out for one hundred and fifty dollars, and it was big enough to like you know live in. You know what I'm saying? He had it. You could put a bed in there, and there was like a shelf and like a little rack right above the bed. You know, for my clothes. So it wasn't the best combinations, but it was gonna it was gonna work. You know, for my first place. And then you know I ended up staying there longer because another roommate moved out and yada yada yada. But they were psycho roommates, like they always tend to be sometimes. And um, I had to move out and find another place. But in, lo and behold, my whole point is, is that had I not taken that chance, you know, and just jumped, you know, I, I wouldn't have met my boyfriend. I wouldn't have um, become comfortable enough to start my transition. I wouldn't, so many things about me would have changed and not been, you know, the way they are now, where I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty, I can honestly say that my life is pretty good, you know. And, um, I mean, yeah, it could be better. I mean, whose life couldn't be better? But my point is, is I'm happy. And I just, I want to encourage everyone out there to take a risk, you know? And what's the worst thing that can happen? You know what I'm saying? You fail, get back up and try again. You know, that's, that's my motto. So anyway, I hope that that um, made some sense or something. Anyway, thanks. Bye.